Hey everyone, and welcome to a new video. It's been a while, I know. So recently I've decided to up my Instagram game. That is actually post some stuff on my Instagram. And as a result, I've been doing this series of kind of like retro, old tech, flat design imagery. And it's been really, really fun to create. So I thought, why not make a tutorial on how to create this cassette tape over here? So if we zoom in, it's a pretty simple design, but it gets a little bit of detail from some highlights and some shading. So I'm going to show you really quickly, hopefully this will be really quickly, how to replicate this. So let's go. So we'll start on a nice fresh artboard. I brought the tape I previously created here as a reference. So let's just begin. So the first thing I want to do is create a rectangle that's going to be the base of our tape, like so. Let's just line everything up neatly in the middle of the artboard. It makes life a lot easier because the center of my tape is also the center of the artboard. So I want to bring these corners in just a tad. Next, I want to create this label of the tape. So we'll drag it out to about there. Green and purple go well together. So let's pick a nice a nice lilac and then we want to bring the corners in on this as well. Next we want to create this little section in the middle where the spools and the actual tape sit. So we'll create another rectangle in the middle here. We'll use our smart guides to guide us to the middle. Drag out a rectangle. As we're dragging out we're holding Alt so it stays nice and central drag it out till there and we're going to color it the same color as the base of our tape. And again, we're going to pull in these edges just a tad. Next bit of these spools. There's a simple way to, to create that kind of effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my circle tool and I'm just going to drag out a circle. We'll flip it so there's no fill but there is a stroke and we will color that stroke white and make it relatively thick that'll do then we're going to go to our stroke effects panel over here we're going to make it into a dashed line and at the moment it's set to 12 so i'm going to set it to about 20 with a 20 point gap and that doesn't actually look half bad so now that we've done that, I'm going to create another circle and we are going to get rid of the dashed line, make that stroke a little thinner and we'll color it a nice light, slightly lighter lilac. And that'll be the outline. And then all we have to do is create a final circle for the middle. We'll get rid of the stroke, color it in white and pop it in the middle like so and there we have the spool so I'm gonna make this a tiny bit smaller we'll come in here we'll group this select hold down alt drag while holding shift to keep it in a straight line drop it over here our proportions are a bit out so what I'm gonna do is just do some slight adjustments here Okay, so now I'm going to group these and then align them to center so they're nice and centralized. That got knocked a bit out of whack. So now we're going to create this little window and in this window we can see a bit of the actual tape over here and a little bit of reflection. So let's do that now. So again, we'll just go to our rectangle tool, go to the center, hold down Alt and drag this out to where think it should go pretty much there. I'm going to color it the same color as our background. Something is, there we go. We'll pull in the corners again, like so. Now let's create the actual tape that's wound around the spool. So we're going to go to our circle, go to the center, drag, 
hold down Alt and Shift to keep the integrity of the circle and keep it central within that spool and drop. We'll color this in black. We'll hold down Alt, drag it over to duplicate it, drop it in the center, make it slightly smaller while holding down Alt and Shift. And there we go. So now we want to get rid of this outside tape and just leave the middle. So I'm gonna select each of these circles and the window itself, go to my Shape Builder tool, hold down Alt and drag it over the bits that I don't want. And there we have it. Next, we're gonna add the screws for a little bit more detail. So we'll go to our circle tool and we'll go a little bit small for this. And we want it about that size. Make it lighter in color. Create a black line in the middle. Up the stroke a bit. And then we're going to apply a width effect, like so. Duplicate that over, flip it, add it to the middle, and there we have it. Zoom in a bit more. Just want to make sure that these are aligned properly. So whenever you create a flat design scene, and you want to add highlights and shading, you need to decide where your source of light is coming from. So for this particular tape, my light source is coming from sort of the top left diagonally and hitting my tape that way. So that means that my highlights for the screw needs to be here and my shadow needs to be here. So to do that, select our circle, hold down Alt to duplicate it, hold down Alt again to make another copy, make the second copy a little bigger, Pull it down here until we have our desired shadow shape over here. Select both, go to my shape builder, hold down Alt and get rid of the bits we don't want. And then I want to color this a little darker and pop it there. Same for the highlights. And then I want to select everything and group still a bit big just make this a little smaller hold down alt and drag it up here to make a copy and then select both of them hold down alt and drag them across to this side and then finally I want to do an extra one for the middle like so so the next part of our tape is creating this little bit over here. So to do that, we'll create another rectangle like so. Let's just centralize it. Then I'm just gonna send this and the base of our tape to the back. Then I wanna get my direct selection tool and select these top two anchors go to my scale tool over here and pull these in so I can make these bigger or smaller. So about there, just want to do a little bit more adjusting. There we go. I just want to select these anchors again and slightly bend these two top corners. Finally, I want to add these little gaps over here. So we'll create another little circle, color it black, drop it there, then a little square, right so now I want to get some nice highlights and shading on this section so what I want to do is select this middle anchor over here and copy and paste it. So now we have that, that line. So instead of having it with a fill and no stroke, I'm just going to flick that. Before I go any further, let's just color this the same color 
as our base of our tape and then make it slightly lighter, ever so slightly lighter. And then we want to color this relatively light because this is our highlight. And I'm going to up the stroke a wee bit and I'm going to give it that tapered width effect. Pop it directly over there. I'm going to select it, hold down Alt, drag it over here, Object, Transform, Reflect, make sure we're on vertical, click on Preview if you want to make sure, press OK, drag it over that line. This time we're going to make it darker for the shadow. Boom, there we go. Finally, we're going to add just a few more touches of highlights and shadow. So I'm going to create a line down this side of the tape, drag it all the way down to the bottom. We're going to make it nice and light. Press OK, up the thickness. Pop this effect on again. Just some minor adjustments. If, it do, if something doesn't look right, just play around with different colors, shades, until it looks how you need it to look. And then I'm going to select this line, hold down Alt to duplicate it across to this side. And I'm going to make it a bit darker this time. The final thing we're going to add is a little bit of a reflection on this little window over here. We're going to rotate these rectangles like so, drag them over here. And then I want to select these three shapes because they'll act as a reference point to where we want to essentially cut these rectangles. We'll go to our Shape Builder tool, hold down Alt and get rid of what we don't want. Then we'll select these new shapes again and we'll drop the opacity to about 20 or so and there you have it you can add a lot more detail as i've done here but that is your basic tape with a nice little touch of highlights and shadow hope you enjoyed it guys i'll be back hopefully very soon with a brand new video thanks for watching